guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Claudia here. I'm so glad to see you here. Today we're going to be playing with some makeup. I'm not sure what I'm going for. I just know that I want it to be blue and that's pretty much it. So we're just going to go from there, I guess. This is my face with no makeup at all. I only put primer on my face. That way we can just start with makeup right away. So the first thing we're going to do is eyebrows. Since I dyed my hair, I've been using eyeshadow for my eyebrows just because they don't need to be as dark as they used to be. And eyeshadow just gets the job done, so that's what really matters. Right now, they don't really need to be perfect just because we're gonna carve them out and stuff. So we're just adding some color to them. Also, I would love to tell you what I'm using for my eyebrows, but this thing is so old that it doesn't even say what it is. I just know that I got it from Walmart like a long time ago. <laughs> But literally any eyeshadow that matches your hair color will work just fine. I don't know why this side always looks so patchy compared to this one. Like, why? These eyebrow hairs are just so stubborn. It's so annoying. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna use the Can Stop One Stop Concealer from NYX. The shade is Vanilla. What I like to do is just make a line. So I don't have to keep dipping on the concealer. And then I just bring it down, that way I can use it as a primer for my eyeshadow. Usually when I do my makeup, I'm like super close to the mirror and right now it's like a little far so I'm sorry if I'm like struggling a little bit. <laughs> now we're gonna do the same on this side. Okay, I'm gonna finish this side and do the other one and I'll be right back. All right, so now we're going to brush them out with this Control Freak Eyebrow Gel from NYX. Just a little bit, just so they stay in place. And now we're going to grab this Shape and Shade Brow Tint from MAC. And we're gonna grab the side that looks like a pen and just make tiny little hairs. I seriously haven't found another pen that does such a great job at keeping everything so natural. But if you guys have any other recommendations, definitely leave them down below. Look at that, all of a sudden, I have eyebrows. <laughs> all right, so for the eyes, I'm only gonna use one palette and it's this Morphe palette, which is the 35B. And we're only gonna use this three colors right here, this three blues. So I'm gonna start with this one right here, which is the brightest one. And I'm just gonna cover my entire eyelid with that. And I'm just bringing it out a little bit to start forming that shape, you know what I mean? So now that I'm satisfied with this shade right here, I'm gonna... Ow. <laughs> that actually hurt. Anyways. So now that I'm satisfied with this shade right here, I'm gonna add this shimmer. This one right here is the third one down. And I'm gonna add it with my finger just because I know that it will show up more if I do it with my finger instead of with a brush. Actually, you know what? Let's try with a brush. Yeah, see, I can barely see it. Yeah, I don't know about that. It's not really showing up with my finger either. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, it's not really showing too much. I know the pinks and the yellow from this palette are really beautiful, but this blue, I don't know, it's not doing it for me. Hmm, oh well. We tried. So now we're gonna use this top shade right here to add some shadows. So the difference is not too big, so I'm actually gonna be combining this one with this other one. I wish they had names, so it would be easier to tell you guys what I'm using. And I'm just gonna tap it right here and just bring it in a little bit and then start blending it out. But what I like to do is not go over the middle of my eye towards this side. Well, at least not for this type of look. So it doesn't matter if this is not too perfect because we're gonna go back with concealer that's why i'm not too worried about it but you still don't want to make it too ugly so then you have so much to fix you know so i'm just gonna do this side and i'll be right back now i'm going to grab this epic ink liner from nyx as well <laughs> this is not a sponsored video but it kind of looks like it. <laughs> nyx sponsor me so the way i'm gonna do my liner is i'm gonna start from the middle and just make a tiny way I say that now, we'll see how big the wing actually is. <laughs> I 
So now I'm going to color correct my face with this right here. Of course, it's from NYX. <laughs> with this, you just need a tiny, tiny little bit and you should be good to go. Sometimes I overdo it by accident, so <laughs> don't make the same mistake. And now I'm going to use this Stay Matte But Not Flat Liquid Foundation by NYX again. I should just title this video just like Full Face of NYX. <laughs> Might as well. Now we're gonna go back with the concealer that we use for the eyebrows and we're gonna apply a bunch over here. Over here. Also on your chin and your nose. And with this product, I like to use a dry beauty blender just because if not, I feel like it's too watery. It makes the concealer way too watery. So I wouldn't recommend making your beauty blender damp, but if you like that look, go ahead. But yeah, you just want to follow that line that you just made with the eyeshadow. I have pretty bad dark circles, so I just like to go back in with a little bit more, just right here to really brighten up that area. And now we're going to grab our Laura Mercier translucent powder to set our face. I don't like to use too much and I like to just tap it on my face. But if you guys like to bake, go ahead. I'm just showing you what I'm doing to my makeup. And then I just like to set the rest of my face with a little bit more powder. So I just put on my lashes off camera because I don't think I'm capable of doing it on camera because it's just too complicated. And now I'm going to apply some blush. I'm going to use this one right here. Again, I wish I could tell you where you can get it from, but I can't. I got it like a long time ago in Thailand, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I like to apply my blush going up, that way it brings my whole face up. And also some of my nose. And some of my chin, but just a tiny little bit. And now I'm going to use this bronzer from Hula Benefit, just to bring back some more on my face. I like to put some on my chin just to create some shadows down there and also on my jawline. Now I'm going to use a smaller brush to contour my nose. I like to do just a little bit down here, some up here, and a little bit on the sides but not too much because I don't want to make it too obvious, you know? And also on my bottom lip to again create some shadows. And for highlight, I like to grab this MAC pigment in the shade Vanilla and just basically use it as a highlighter everywhere. I like to put some on my lip and I go in with a smaller brush and I do my nose, I make a line in the middle like a tiny little dot over here and I also like to grab some and put some on my eyebrows and I like to put some over here as well actually you know what I'm gonna use the yellow from the eyeshadow palette so I'm gonna use this one right here I just like to grab it with my finger and just tap some on there. See, like this color is just so bright. And then the blue one was barely showing up. I guess I should just do this now. So I'm gonna go back with the blue, the second blue right here. 
and I'm gonna add some to oh that went to my eye to my bottom lashes oh my god that's gonna make my eyes so red we just want some color down there you know all right so now we're gonna add some mascara to the bottom lashes just so they're not completely naked now we just have to do our lips and we're done so for the lips, I'm gonna use this lip liner from Sephora. It's the number two called Nothing But Nude. And to finish it, I'm gonna use this lipstick from Clinique. This is the number three Creamy Nude. Now I just need some setting spray and we are done. And I'm gonna use the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Ugh, it feels so good. And we are officially done. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this little makeup tutorial. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and you subscribe to my channel. And also let me know if you would like me to make more makeup videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!